Bradley Juby TV proudly presents. It's football time in Oklahoma. Welcome to the Oklahoma Sooner Football Vlog. The Oklahoma Sooner Football Vlog. Home of the seven-time national champions. The most epic and brutal team in college football. The one and only Oklahoma Sooners. There's only one Oklahoma. Well, judging by the fact that you're not seeing the Ohio State logo on this vlog's avatar, it is safe to say that Oklahoma has come into the horseshoe and defeated the Ohio State Buckeyes by the score of 31 to 16. And after the game, our warrior prince Baker Mayfield planted the flag of Oklahoma of OU on the Ohio State. Oh, whoa! Oh, that's my neighbor uh, Jacob, I believe. He's uh, um. He was uh, responding to me. Um, well, hi, hey, Jacob. Well, anyway, um, this is uh, the Oklahoma Sooner football vlog. Um, uh, man, this is that was wild. You know, I thought OU just played, outplayed, outcoached the Buckeyes and Urban Meyer all night. Although that first half was pretty hard to watch because. Uh, like we'd get in, we'd get on the Ohio State side of the field, and we just come away empty every time. Two turnovers, uh, a fourth down conversion that didn't work, and a missed field goal. But uh, a three to three halftime lead was something I could have dealt with going into this uh, going into this second half and. And I thought, well, it's anybody's ball game. And then Ohio State went down the field. And then OU responded. And then Ohio State got a field goal. And it was 13-10. But, man, 3-3 lead. And the Sooners outscore the Buckeyes 28-13 in the second half. Well... And like I said, the young lion, Lincoln Riley, has got his first signature victory in just his second game as head coach. Unbelievable. I knew they could do it. I just, I knew it. I, I called it. You know? And, uh, you know, man, I told you some of those guys were going to step up. Um... Uh, Parnell Motley, um, he got a crucial uh, interception in the fourth. And Mayfield and the boys made them pay. Uh, yep. Oh, and here's a guy you guys are going to have to watch out for, uh, opponents of the Sooners. Uh, and not just Dimitri Flowers, Flower Power as I call him. But uh, watch out for a guy by the name of Trey Sermon. I'm going to go ahead and call him the preacher. Because, man, he was preaching tonight, brother. He was preaching. Oh, he was preaching the gospel of Oklahoma football. I think he's going to be doing a lot of preaching this year. And it's going to be fun. That is if he doesn't get hurt or get in any trouble. But, uh, yeah, uh, defense, though. Stepped up. Parnell Motley um, stepped up with that interception. I'd call him Motley Crew. Um, although there were some injuries, I think Will Johnson got hurt. Um, uh, Mark Andrews got hurt. He got dinged up. I don't know what his prognosis is going to be, but uh, uh, judging by how some OU fans. St oh, I'm sorry. I got that wrong. How much OU player stepped up? I think he's gonna. I think we may just be fine. Um. But man, you know, just a second game as head coach, and Lincoln Riley out coaches Urban Meyer. I mean, in the horseshoe, out 
coached. Especially with that late field goal. I'm like, why is Urban Meyer going for a field goal when he's down 31-13? Uh, I thought that was kind of stupid. Yeah, that was a mess. That was a mess. Usually I think a guy like him would be a much better play caller than... Uh, um, cause, but, man, just the young lion just roared into the horseshoe. And right at the end, Baker Mayfield waved the OU flag, planted that OU flag right in the middle of the O. Forget dot the O. We planted the flag right on the on the Ohio State O. Well, thankfully though, we didn't need old Uva von Schaumann on this one. But we just had a we just had a little shake and bake. There was some shaking and there was some bacon. Oh boy, he baked us some pretty good buckeye brownies, I tell you what. Well anyway, um Alright. Now I got to uh deal with a little issue at hand. Um now I now I did make an Ohio State avatar. For this vlog, and I sang the Ohio State fight song, or one of them, in case the Buckeyes were to win. But, um, let's say, uh, they didn't win. Oh, you won. So, Ben, I need to hear some Boomer Sooner, brother. I need to hear some Boomer Sooner. I know you could sing it. You've lived in Oklahoma for a while. I know you married into an OU family, so let me hear it, Ben. Let me hear that you sing Boomer sooner. Well, anyway, good luck to the Ohio State Buckeyes for the rest of this year. Um, now, I don't know how they're going to handle Big 12 play, but I'm going to tell you one thing. Ohio State, you need a whoop-up on Maryland. Because Maryland came into Texas, the team down south, and whooped them. So y'all need to put the whooping on on Maryland, and of course, in next sometime next month on the second Saturday of October, we'll we're gonna put a whooping on Texas. So uh, if you do all that, it'll all look good, you know. And maybe, just maybe, if you guys don't foul up for the rest of the year, we may just be able to meet in the college football playoff. You never know. We got a lot of football to play, but. Um, I think we've done phenomenal. Um, next week, we got uh, the Sooners will head home to play Tulane. That game's going to be on pay-per-view. Uh, I'm not even going to want to talk about Tulane. I don't know a lot about Tulane, except they're from New Orleans. But uh, the bottom line is, I don't think Tulane's going to want any of OU after we just put, the, put a whooping on the Buckeyes. So um, I'm not sure if that's going to be a game. I could be wrong, but uh, it looks from the from from what it looks like right now, OU is legit. Believe that. Well, anyway, uh, this is Bradley Juby. Until next week, Boomer Sooner. This has been the Oklahoma Sooner Football Vlog, a presentation of Bradley Juby TV. Boomer Sooner.